What is not okay is for you to try to put a charge into the battery while it is frozen. You need to supply the battery when it's frozen with at least a 10 amp charging current. So I have a 40 amp, I actually have a 60 amp charger that I threw on the battery and turned it on and immediately measured a draw of 8.3 amps. BMS detects the low temperature of the cells and there's three different temperature probes around this battery array and it turns on the heating elements. It says, wait, I'm going to warm things up first before I apply a charging current. And then I waited an hour, checking on it periodically, but I waited an hour. And then after about the hour mark and left it in the bus in 20 degree weather, after about the hour mark, we reached about 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Then the BMS said, okay, we are thawed ready to go. And then it started applying a 47 amp charging current. And that is really cool because you can leave this in storage if you have your RV or van in storage and it's frozen and this can drop down below freezing and it won't, it won't turn on, it won't kill itself. But when you're ready for it, you apply a charging voltage to it, a charging amperage of at least 10 amps. The system will wake back up, thaw itself out and be prepared to receive a charging amperage.